subtract sine x and subtract 6. Oops, that's sine squared x. Oh, that shouldn't be sine x squared either. That should be sine squared x. Six from both sides. Then what am I going to do? Okay. Oh, no, I'm supposed to say this over here. Was that the answer? Alright. You let, let u equal sine x. this hard? The 12. The 12 out front, right? Oh. How we deal with that? Oh. 12 is a hard number to work with because it's got so many different factors. It's got 1 and 12, it's got 6 and 2, it's got 3 and 4. And then you got factors of 6 or 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. Put all those together in different kind of pairs and combinations. On top of that, you're going to have opposite signs. It's going to make this, you know, guess and check, plug in, trial and error, really, really difficult. Well, how do I teach you to factor this? A times C. What is A times C? A times C. Negative 72. What are we going to do with that? Equals what? Negative 72. Same thing's going to add together and make the middle time. Okay? They multiply together and make negative 72 and they add together and make negative 1. What are two numbers? Multiply together and make negative 72, but add together and make. 9 and 8, all right? Negative 9 and positive 8 or negative 8 and positive 9? Negative 9 times 8 is negative 72, and negative 9 plus 8 is negative 1. That works. What's that? Is it a middle term? Negative 1 comes from the coefficient of the middle term. So what do I do with those two numbers? What do I do with those two numbers? How do I use those two numbers? Very good. I rewrite the middle term using those two numbers. Then you group them. That's exactly right. What's in common in the first two? You. No, wait. Three, three you, three right? You, three you. What goes in the parentheses? Uh, four you and three. Negative four three. you minus three. Good. What's in common in the second for set of parentheses? Two. What goes in the parentheses? Four you and negative three. So how does this factor? Three you plus two in one parentheses. And the other four you want to There you go. Now, when I factor an equation like that, what do I do next? Set them equal to zero and solve. Good. So, when I solve this, I'm going to get three u equals negative two. u equals negative two thirds. Right? And over here. 4u equals 3, u equals 3 fourths. With me? Mm -hmm. Neither one of those numbers shows up on a circle, does it? Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, what was sine u equal to? I mean, sorry, what was u equal to? Sine x. Sin x. <coughs> what was 
finished? No. No. Can you solve for X? Yes. Gotta take the sign in brush, right? Is that the answer? No. No. What do we got to do next? Find what the sign in person and then you You're not going to be able to find it, though. This is the exact answer. Okay? Where does the sign in verse come from? Are we done? No. Okay. Where does the